What's up, y'all? This your girl, Go Mom. Coming at you guys to show you guys how I make shrimp and sausage pasta. And I think I'm going to put some broccoli in it, too. So if you're interested in seeing how this meal is going to come out, stay tuned. Put the camera over there. Okay. Come on. Okay, y'all. So for this meal, I will be using this pasta radiator, radiatore, whatever. And I got some shrimp. Get out of the way. I got some shrimp. I got the medium shrimp already cooked, peeled, the vein, and with the tail on, I will be taking the tail off. I got these two pieces of sausage, and I have some red bell peppers sliced, red, pe red bell peppers chopped or whatever, and then I have some purple onions, and I have a little piece of uh, <laughs> green bell pepper left, child. That's all I had, so I'm just using that. And these are going to be my seasons. I got parsley, um, Tony's, season all, garlic powder. Okay, and I got some ranch dressing, and I always use my spray. So the first thing I'm going to do is cook my pasta, since it takes the longest. I'm going to open my pasta, and my water already boiling over there on the stove. I always look in my box. Just I always look in my box, at least on the top, when I'm cooking my pasta. Just because, hey, you never know, child. Not that I'm looking for bugs or anything, but something that, that might have been misdone in the packaging you know just always look at your stuff don't just dump it in there and assume that they did right by it okay so um um i put my pasta look i just dumped it over there and i ain't show y'all nothing i dumped my pasta in this pot it's already boiling i'm going to add a little bit of um what you call it canola oil in there so it won't stick or either maybe a little bit of butter see just that much butter so it won't stick won't stick well that'll keep it from sticking as you know as much stir that around in there now next thing I'm, I'm going to do is I'm going to start cooking my sausage but since my sausage links were frozen I'm going to thaw them out I think I want to put a little bit more pasta in there when Scooby come home he can have some and I'm going to put I gotta thaw my sausage out because they solid froze. I'm gonna put them in the microwave and then I'll be back. Thaw them out for like a 30 seconds and then I'll be back to show y'all. Okay, y'all, so I forgot to show you guys one of the main ingredients, which is the cream of chicken soup. Um, I use the Great Value brand since I did compare it to the Campbell's brand, and it does taste almost identical, and it's way cheaper, like way cheaper. I think this is like 50 cent versus the Campbell's, which is like a dollar and some change. So I think it's 50 cent. It's in Walmart, so it's like some change. So, okay, my sausage is ready over there. So I'm gonna, I'm just showing you guys that. So don't forget that, don't forget that. That's like very important. Unless you wanna use some other sauce. You can use pasta sauce, Alfredo sauce, you know, the tomato sauce, either one, either one you choose. But this is what I'm gonna be using today, okay? Okay, y'all, so I already have my sausage here and my shrimp here. I cut my sausage up into little bitty um, pieces and I got my shrimp and I just took the tail off the end of them. Um, all you got to do is get your shrimp like this and just take the tail and pinch it. I kind of pinch in there so that way that end will come off too. Uh, that piece of meat, it's a little piece of meat in there. So you want to pinch it right here so that way that piece of meat will come out. Y'all, so I have my pan right here. Already turned on. I sprayed it with some the Crisco. What you call that? Original canola oil. And I'm just gonna add my sausage here. And I'm gonna let my sausage cook for a minute, and then I'm add my shrimp in a little bit. Put my parsley so my food can be cute now. And I always add my. Hold on, let me see if I can get down on now. It's only a little bit, y'all, because I'm just doing it enough for me to scoop it. So, I got that. Put a little bit of parsley on it. Just because, because you're supposed to, because they do it on Facebook and Instagram all the time. That's why you do it. That's why you do it. Make your food cute. Okay, y'all, so I'm going to let my sausage cook for a few minutes before I add my shrimp to it and um because it takes longer to cook sausage than it do the shrimp 
the shrimp is already fully cooked, but I'm not going to, you know, I don't just eat my shrimp like this. This just, no, 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 I just don't. I always cook it again. They say it's fully cooked, but y'all can eat it like that if y'all want to, but not me. And I ain't eating that type of product. I got to have my food cooked. So I got my cream of chicken mushroom soup right here. Not mushroom. Why I said mushroom? Cream of chicken soup here. I'm going to add that to my pasta in a little bit. So while I'm waiting on that to cook, I'm going to get my broccoli that I got. And I'm going to wash me some broccoli off. I'm just going to rinse it off. And I'm going to add it to the plate with the shrimp in it. Y'all probably been seeing me cook with, with um, broccoli on the last couple of things I cooked because I'm just, you know, it's always something different that you can do with the bag of broccoli. A lot of people probably run out of ideas like I used to with the broccoli. I'm like, okay, how else I'm supposed to eat this besides eating it raw and eating the broccoli salad? There's other ways you can use this big old bag of broccoli for because it comes in a big old bag. So it's like, what you gonna do with it if you're not a real big fan of broccoli? So... You can think of other ways to use this broccoli, you know. Now this broccoli, I'm not going to cut up like y'all used to seeing me do. I'm not going to cut that up. I'm going to leave it whole just like that. And I'm going to throw it in there. Now my sausage is starting to, like, get a little color to them. So we're going to dump this shrimp over in there. Just like this. Don't worry about the extra water. You can dump that in there too. It ain't going to hurt nothing. Add the shrimp together with the sausage. The shrimp ain't gonna take but a few minutes to get done. You you could start cooking the pasta before everything else is because the pasta takes longer to cook than everything else. So let that shrimp start to cook in there. Cook it down a little bit. So what I'm gonna season the shrimp with is I got some Tony's um I don't know how you said it, but yeah, I got some Tony seasoning. Look at that screenshot. I think it says Chacharese. I don't know. But it's kind of hot. This is the spicy one. So I'm just going to, that's just for the spice, y'all. Let's get a little kick. I don't got no old base, so I ain't going to be using none. This right here to give it a little flavor. Got the season all. Um, you can either use one or the other. You don't have to use this and the Tony because they both got salt in them. And you want to watch how much salt you put on your food because you don't want too much salt. Now, this right here is the garlic powder. This is the key to oh, any food, y'all. I just learned that because y'all know if y'all been watching me for a long time and I used to use complete seasoning all the time, I don't use that seasoning like I used to anymore. Um... Because somebody said it had MSG in it and you know, since I'm a cancer patient now I try to stay away from certain things even though hell everything you eat is bad for you so we're gonna keep right on moving we ain't gonna even discuss that no more okay so we're going to cook that and as you can see it's starting to dry up in this pot here in my pan so all you gotta do is to bring those flavors up off the bottom of that pan is add water add water and you will see them rise again see how they bubbling up the flavor is rising again and you ain't got to season it no more because that just brings the flavor of the seasoning up off the bottom of the pan so that's all you got to do with that now the next step is to I'm gonna go ahead I think my I want, I want my shrimp to cook a little bit more so once my shrimp cook a little bit more I'm going to add my broccoli so I'm just gonna check on my pasta and it's starting to get a little, I'm going to taste one. You always got to taste one to see if it's like what you want. It. You got to cool, cool it off like this, John. You got to cool it off. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Turn it off. Turn it off. I want to get too soft and I don't like it al dente. I don't like that. So, I'm going to um, get my shrimp here. And I want my shrimp a little spicy. So, I don't, this, ain't, this right here ain't enough. So I got a little cayenne pepper that I'm finna go get and sprinkle it across there too. I want it to be spicy when I eat it. This is the great value cayenne pepper. A little bit of that. Woo! Gonna be flavorful. 
Now y'all, for the magic touches, I got me some spinach right here. And I'm going to put my spinach over in there with the shrimp and the sausage. Maybe I should have did that last, but it's all good because I'm just going to put them in there all together. I should have did the onions and the um, peppers first before I did that, but it's all good. They can go in there at the same time. That's only because the spinach cooked faster. That's why I say um, put the onions and peppers in there first. But it's all right. I don't need the onions and peppers to um, be like cooked, cooked, cooked anyway. You know? And when this... Uh oh, got a piece right here on, on the bottom. So, um, with my onions and peppers in here, y'all see them colors? That's why I love the red bell peppers. They give your food a little pretty look. So, uh, I want to take this off this eye so it won't continue to cook. I'm going to drain that in a few minutes using my strainer. See how fast that, that spinach withered away? I think I'm going to add some more spinach in here um, just because. We're going to just sprinkle that on over in there. And let that simmer. Let it simmer. These onions in here, red bell peppers, sausage, and shrimp. That's going to be good, 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 good. Now, I'm going to push that over there. I'm going to put that over there because that's going to cook by itself. I got my pasta here. but I'm going to drain this. Strain it, drain it, whatever you call it. And um show y'all my draining thing here. Gotta rinse it off. Okay y'all, I'm just gonna use this right here, pour it in there and over the sink and let the you know the liquid come down through the sink. Bam, that's old faithful right there. And I'm going to put it in here just so y'all can get a better view, that's all. And now that that's in there, I'm going to get my cream of chicken soup right here. Dump it in there. Pop it in there like that. And I'm going to try to get all of that out of there too. I'm going to turn this eye back up right here. Okay, now get your spoon and get all of that up out of there. Get it all up out of there, child. Ain't nobody got no money to throw away. Ain't nobody got no money to throw away. Now if you got money to throw away, you can leave yours in your can and chunk it in the trash. Now, every time I go in my drawers and get spoons or go in my cabinets and get pots, I always rinse them out. Just make that a habit of doing that because just because dust and whatever collects under there. And you might got roaches, you might want to spray. <laughs> Let me stop. Okay, <clears throat> so... Check that. I'm being for real though, y'all. I ain't joking. Some of y'all probably need to do that. But, yeah, get them things out of there. Get all of that up out of there. And then, if you really want to do something, get you some water, put it in there, shake it around, and dump that in there too. You know, swivel it around in there, shake it around. Try to get all of that off the side, child. Bump that in there. Do it for the next can. Do the same thing for the next can. Dump, swivel that water around in there. See that water shaking around in there? And dump that over in there. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We're going to get it right in a second. Oh, drop that one. So anyways, you got that. Got that cooking up in there. So... Me being me, and partially being partially, you got to do it. I got to do it to you. Put the partially in there, y'all. You got to. You just got to. Okay? Partially make it pretty. Don't have no bland looking sauce, you know. Pasta just going to make it cute for you. You can, you can put black pepper on it or whatever, but I ain't got no black pepper, so I'm just going to sprinkle me some parsley to make it pretty. Because when you ever seen pasta without parsley on it? I just want to know. Because that's what they do. Put the pasta on it to make, give it a little color, a little texture, and all of that. So now all you got to do is get your, your shrimps and your sausages and your spinaches, your spinaches, and pour it on there. You ain't got to drain it because the, them pastas, 
going to soak all of that up. I'm going to soak it all up. I probably ain't cook enough of shrimp and sausage for my uh, liking, but you can plate this up how you want this. You can, you could have put this on your plate last. All this going to cook down. All of that liquid going to cook down. You can stir that in there if you want to. I'm just going to plate mine up like this because I want my stuff to be on top so it can look pretty. I got a little too much pasta for my shrimp, but it's okay because I'm going to stretch it and I'm going to... I might share. I don't know. I don't like nobody though. So I'm just gonna plate this up. Uh oh. I'm gonna plate. I'm gonna use this plate. Same plate to plate it up with. And I told y'all don't worry about that liquid because it ain't gonna be liquidy. It's gonna be good and thick and creamy. See that? Yes. Now, if you want to add cheese, girlfriend, go ahead. But y'all been watching me long enough to know that I can't, I can't have no cheese. Okay? I can't have none. So, I'm going to just try to get some of them shrimp up in there. Put them on the top of my plate. Like that. Okay, y'all. So, here is my finished plate. I am going to top it with some more peppers. Some more bell peppers. Just for the cuteness of it, you know, gotta make your plate look presentable. <laughs> I just like to decorate my plate, you know. So if I'm serving this to somebody, my food can look like good. That's just a tip for y'all. Y'all don't know how to decorate plates. I don't know how to decorate plates either. I just do what be cute, yeah. So, anyways, I look cute enough to me. Y'all let me know how what you guys think about this. If y'all try it, stay tuned to my channel because I will be doing a mukbang tomorrow on this plate, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. That's all I got to say in this video. And I will holler at y'all later. Bye.